Welcome back. Let's start on these candy corn cuties by taking a chalk pencil and lining out a triangle and then kind of rounding off the corners to give us the shape of the candy corn. Next, I'm gonna take Liquitex Gesso to give a base coat to the background of the candy corn. This is a dark stone, so that's part of the reason. And the other part of the reason is because yellow and orange paint are just tricky to get nice, solid colors with. There's usually multiple coats. This helps with that. Now I did my due diligence and did my research with some real candy corns. And so what you notice here is that the orange is the biggest stripe. The yellow and the white are the smallest. So I'm gonna use a blue chalk pencil to kind of line out where those colors are going to be. And then I'm going to take the jack-o'-lantern orange and the bright yellow, as well as a little bit of white. I'm starting out with some white and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down beyond the area where it's gonna be white. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's just like additional base coat. Now I'm gonna take that jack-o'-lantern orange and outline that middle stripe that is gonna be the thickest. You're going to see the paint lines in this because this paint is very affordable. So in that it's also a little thinner and it's gonna take multiple coats to get a full coverage over it. So this is just that first coat of both the yellow and the orange. And like I said, you may need two or three coats or if you have a really high quality paint, you might only need one coat. You just do what works best for you. Get the color to the brightness and the solid opacity that you desire. My yellow was extra tricky, so I think I needed at least three coats of the yellow with some touch-ups to make sure there weren't brush lines. Totally okay. I'm smoothing out the line between the yellow and the orange there. And now we're going to add some eyeballs with a dotting tool and black paint. So just simply dotting them on as evenly sized and spaced as you can. Now I have multiple candy corns, so we're gonna put the eyes on all of them here. Now I'm gonna take a nail dotting tool and add extra dots that give it the kawaii effect. So a larger dot and a smaller dot in each of the eyeballs. This gives it personality, whole lot of cuteness, and it's very simple to do. Now I'm going to take the Sakura Pigma Fine Line Paint Pen and add smiley faces. Just simple smiley faces with the half moon and the two little lines, nothing fancy, just very simple. And then on the last little candy corn, I decided to give him a little surprised face by doing a circle. The next step will be to take this Posca PC1MR, it's a little thicker than that Sakura Paint Pen, and just give an outline to each of the candy corns and then I'm gonna add some really simple feet and some arms with little dots for the hands. So really simple, but it just gives it a whole bunch of personality. So on to the second one. And this one, we're gonna have reaching for the sky, like he's excited or he's jumping and just the same simple feet and legs. This third candy corn is really jumping for joy because his arms are up and his legs are gonna be out, not just straight, so he's literally jumping in the air for joy because it's spooky season and he's happy. And this last little guy, he's just going to be hanging out, but he's going to have his hands drawn over his mouth like he's surprised or he's scared. I'm not quite sure what, but I just thought it would be cute to kind of bring his hands to his mouth. I'm also going to give these a light coat of Mod Podge because I want the stone to stay a little bit lighter when I resin them. These are super cute and they're super easy so you can mass produce them. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch, and I'll see you next time. Take care.